you VHS copies of Jason X, Jim Sterling here, and this is Dead by Daylight. Now, if you uh, were on my channel earlier, you will have noticed there was already a Dead by Daylight video. It's not there anymore because the recording turned out really bad, and I didn't appreciate just how bad it was until it was pointed out to me just how bad it was. And I wanted to keep it up because it was it was an entertaining game. Like, the gameplay was, was funny uh, because of what happened in it, but... In the end, I just got too pissed off. I get pissed off if if shit goes wrong like that, and I just want to do it again. So here we are, Dead by Daylight. Going to try it again. Uh, if you if you are aware of the Friday the Thirteenth game that's coming out, this game is very similar. One of you is a killer. Four of you are survivors. Killer tries to get the survivors. We're going to start off with a killer. Keskase. We'll create a lobby here while we wait for people to come up. We'll look at our loadout. So you get blood points. Basically, these things here that you can use to purchase upgrades, although they are only one-time things. Get trapper gloves, and get this wreath. What's that do again? Grants 25% bonus blood points. Well, how nice. We can't get that. So, let's put our offering in. Put gloves in. Ideally, I'd like the one. There's, um... It's all randomised. Your whole skill tree is randomised. Every time you level up, it's a new skill tree with different things on it. Ideally, I would like the one that makes your, uh, the bear traps harder to get out of. Uh, there are three killers. Um, the trapper, which is the one I'm using. It's my personal favourite so far. The wraith can turn invisible, find uh, survivors a lot quicker. There's the hillbilly that has a chainsaw. The trapper... I mean, you can kind of guess what it does from its name. It lays down bear traps. Uh, now, I'm very inexperienced at the game, uh, as any of you who saw the earlier video will be able to tell. Uh, I've only really just started playing it. This will be like my, I don't know, third or fourth proper match, and I really don't have the ins and outs of it. Plus, I came to the game very late. Um, I couldn't get matchmaking working for, like, ages until after it came out. I tried to record a video last week and it didn't work because I couldn't get a match started. So everyone else knows what they're doing and I'm still sort of trying to get the hang of it. Right, there we are, we can start now, good. Right, so I've got access to bear traps. Let's try and put one there near a generator. These generators, Five of them have to be turned on by the survivors before they can uh, escape the level. My job is to stop them. In a kind of roundabout way. Like, I've got this big uh, cleavery machete thing here, but that's not actually the uh, best way to... Let's put one there. You only use that to weaken them, I should say. You have to pick them up and put them on meat hooks to sacrifice them. That's how you actually kill them. And they've got a chance to... Ah, fuck. Well, that's one down. Put one right here. Because survivors love to jump through windows. Because it's quicker for them to do it. And slower for the killer. Now, if I were one of these little bastards... I try and turn that generator on from here. There's no one here. No one hiding in there. Very rarely do people actually seem to hide in those things. God, where the fuck could they be? Okay. Right. They fucked trying to turn that generator on. Aha, there they are. Ha ha ha, you thought you were clever. I'm coming, I'm coming for you. And, no shit. That'll actually slow you down if you try and hack them and fail. put this down and come back to her you can leave them as potential bait but they can uh, recover and pick themselves back up so 
as tempting as it is. Okay, she's quite far away from the nearest place where I can hook her up. So she could escape. Alright, come on. There we are. No escape for you. Got a trap here. Because someone might try try and rescue her. We've got three generators to go. That's not good for us. Okay. They got her off the thing. Well, that's not good. <laughs> you fuck. Now you should have jumped through that window. But you didn't. And now... You got all slashed up. A matey boy. problematic for me. Right, get up on there. Get up. Now I think someone's desperate to get this. Oh, hello. Yeah, some fucker with a doctor bag. We don't want that. Try and circle round. So this is one problem with the game, is they will just keep giving you the run around. You see there? His, uh, because it, it's quicker for them to go through windows than me, they can just run round and round and round and round. So I'm going to try, if he doesn't work out what I've done, I'm going to try and make them jump over the window into the trap. Ah, fucking hell. He's going for the generator. No? Yes, look. Who are you? Come here. Now, I think, if I'm correct, I'd already hooked this one up once. So if I get her onto this hook, she should instantly die. They only get one chance to ever get off the hook. Let's see. No. Okay. That's fair enough. I am going to... Put this down here. Okay, we've got two generators, one generator to go. This uh this isn't so good. So there's a generator here they could turn on. Someone got trapped. Shit. I gotta get back there quickly. Very quickly. Well, he's hoping one of these instantly dies now. They should do if I got the right one. There we go. See ya. Oh no shit, she's still she's still out. Fuck. Okay, that's uh not too great. Oh shit, okay. That's one dead. One properly deaded. And one still hooked. Two deaded. Now they still got to get a generator on. So let's lay a trap here. And hope for the best. And there's two generators here, so they could really be anywhere. I 
Aha! Hello! <laughs> oh, well, well. Looks like I got you. Hook, line and sinker. Come on. Oh, well, fuck it. I'll let them deal with that. We just have to see whether someone feels like rescuing them or not. That's what I'm kind of banking on. Or someone might decide to just get selfish. Someone's getting selfish. Come here. That's it. Go through that window. Go on. Fuck. Nah. I think I'll do this instead. Come here. Go on, go through. Get. <laughs> oh. Oh, glorious. Oh, so very, very glorious. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Can I pick up? There we go. Silly me. Right. Ever just relax. I'll be your helpful skewered on this trip. <laughs> mm. Delicious. <laughs> Well, I feel very good about that. Even if the recording does stutter and fuck up next time, I'm keeping that. It's not often Jim gets a win in one of these things. But that... Oh, that was a fucking win. Alright. Wonderful. What next? We'll be a survivor now. So that requires us going back. Uh, be a survivor. It's our character here, Meg Thomas. That's who we'll play. Mess around with the loadout. Go on this to um, unlock something. Quarter moon bouquet, uncommon offering. Yeah, cut off that. What does that mean? Calls upon the entity for a brighter moonlight. All right then. Slippery meat, common perk. So this should level us up. We're now level two. This how the leveling system works. Now we can start getting stuff on here. Mystery box, what's in here? Tear optic. All right, what's that? Uh, first aid kit, very useful. And that'll do, let's uh... For some reason it's, it's difficult to get into a game as a survivor sometimes. You get a lot of lobby failures and stuff. We got through fairly quickly though, that's good. Okay, well, I don't know about you, uh, fuckers, but I'm ready. I feel really pleased with myself, having uh, done all that uh, lovely murdering there. Alright. Let's see if we can fare decently as a survivor. It's a different prospect altogether. Now, as a survivor, we've obviously got to do the opposite of what we were doing there. I've got to find the generators, turn them on. And it's tricky, and it's actually tricky to turn those generators on, because you're not just holding a button while it turns on. Quick time events pop up, and they certainly appear uh, far too quickly for me most of the time. They're real ambush bastard QTEs. But we do have other advantages, such as, you know, being able to give the killers runarounds through windows and things. Which feels very cheesy. I mean, it's only because I'm used to it now, after I got trolled hardcore the first time I tried to record a video, that I kind of knew... I was able to predict what that player would do and lay that trap. That's part of it, is like working out what's the most likely thing for the other character to do. This is taking forever to load what's going on. 
I haven't got all day. I've got Umbrella Core that's downloaded. I mean, I'm not particularly looking forward to playing it, but... Really? Okay, we're here. It took fucking forever. I've never seen it take that long to load. But anyway, we're here now. So. We can pull these things down. They slow... Killers down. They gotta either find a way around them or kick them down to get after you. So I'm not sure what killer's after us. Probably the Wraith. Everyone picks the Wraith. Oh shit. The heartbeat means that the killer's nearby. That crow is kind of a giveaway to a position. If I can find. Okay. Someone's working on that generator. I can as well. We can all kind of pile in and help. As long as I don't fuck up the QTE and ruin this for everyone. Oh no. We did it, but now we gotta get out of dodge quick. Because once the generator turns on, the killer knows that we were there. Oh shit. You see the red flash in the background? That means someone just got hooked. And I'm gonna be stupid enough to go over there and try and rescue them. So I'm not sure which way the killer is gonna go. Oh shit, that's the hillbilly. Yeah, the hillbilly's waiting, I think. Please don't know where I am. Bollocks! Oh, bull sacking it. Now, one issue is once you've been slashed, you leave big old blood trails. So it's somewhat easy for the killer to track you. I also forgot to equip my med kit. So, that's not good. Now, I don't know whether the... No, the killer's still using that person as bait. So, as much as I want to go help him, I think I'm gonna... I mean, one alternative is for one of us to become a more, shall we say, movable bait. I've done... Oh, thank you! I've done that before. I've, uh distracted the killer so that someone else could get the other player off the hook. Okay, I think... I don't know whether that means someone's gone and died or not. Oh, shit! That wasn't good. So, obviously that alerts the killer to where you were. I say those QTEs, they fucking, they jump at me and they make me panic. I guess that's the point of them. At least we're not spilling a load of blood everywhere now. That makes us way easier to find. Okay, let's try this again, shall we? I have a feeling our goose is going to be quite thoroughly cooked. You know what happens? I see the the prompt say space, and my instinct is... Oh god, I hear a chainsaw. My instinct is to just hit space as soon as I see the space prompt. That's kind of messing me up right now. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, so we're being chased around, but, you know, the upside is this gives the others time to go and do something. Oh god, I hear a chainsaw. It's getting louder and louder. Right, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what my end game is here. 
Ah, no, 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 fuck. It wasn't, wasn't a good play on my part. So anyway, we've been carried off. Oh yeah, we can wiggle. Sorry, I should have been doing that. You do have a chance to escape if you... No. Well, the others are gonna tr looks like they're gonna try and come for me, but this this is a oh fuck this is a killer that really wants to use the others as bait. Not very good at surviving. Gonna lose this eventually and get proper fucked. If I hadn't have just messed up that QTE. I'd have been fine. I just I've I've got to get used to not just pressing space immediately when I see space. Look at this little camping bastard. Fucking hell. There we go. There we go. carried off. Didn't do very well there at all. I fucked that up big time. But you know what? I'm I'm still high off my earlier victory. So you know what? I'll take that on the chin. I'm good with it. So I fucked that up proper. Anyway, that's Dead by Daylight. I, I'm quite fond of it. I can see where it could go the evolve route of getting very repetitive. Um... And I think there's still some balancing stuff they need to work out. There are some things that just make it very frustrating to be a killer and some things that make it very frustrating to be a survivor. And I get you want to have enough advantages and disadvantages, but you want to try and do that without, like, annoying someone. So, anyway, that's that. I will keep my fingers crossed that this video will actually render and turn out well. And I'll see you next time. Uh, probably next up with some Umbrella Call when I play it for a bit. Bye! Please don't have fucked up the video this time.